Now let's take a look at some scenes from Waterfront Park at the Buford Gullah Festival. Hello, I'm Dr. Marlena Smalls here at the Gullah Festival. And boy, are we having a wonderful time. It's all about the many offerings that the African brought here to the southeastern coast of the United States that spread throughout the great country that we call America. The rhythm, the foods, ah, all of it is West African based. And you know, the beauty in it is that when I look at myself, I am many things. Yes, I eat shepherd's pie from Ireland and England, yes. And I like Brunswick stew, and I like Russian dishes, and German dishes, and Spanish dishes, and Chinese dishes. But oh my God, the offering of Africa is so great from its foods, to its architecture, to its mathematics, to the vocabulary, to the alphabet. Oh my goodness, the offering that Mother Africa has brought forth. And so today in Beaufort, South Carolina, we celebrate the beautiful culture of Gullah. It's West African based, but it is mixed with many cultures. Again, I am Dr. Marlena Smalls and I'm having a blast here in Beaufort, South Carolina at the Waterfront Park. Peace, beautiful souls. I am Tamika with Energy Evolution, a health and wellness center located on St. Helena Island, 1000 Sea Island Parkway. We supply the community with all their holistic health needs, crystals, herbs, teas, all those things you need. So today we're down here at the original Gullah Festival, myself being the Gullah native right here from Port Royal, South Carolina, and just want to give you a little bit of what the Gullah love is. It's the root of what it is to truly love yourself and love thy neighbor. We are in this space to be able to spread this energy so that we can truly allow the world to know what it means to have Gullah roots and that means that roots of nature. So the festival this weekend has been a huge success. We are just super excited to be able to see all the wonderful faces here in the sunshine beautiful Buford by the sea. This Gullah festival is truly unique this year because we have now been able to get through something that truly has been traumatic for a lot of people. This festival within itself gives America the epitome of what it is to be a comeback nation. So this festival for myself and for my family is a representation of what America is capable of. We can get through anything with the true roots of Gullah love. I'm Luana Graves Sellers from Low Country Gullah and I'm here and I'm really excited to be at the original Gullah Festival in Beaufort, South Carolina. And I am here not only representing Low Country Gullah and protecting the land and preserving the culture is what Low Country Gullah does. We raise funds to pay off the taxes for families who have historic Gullah land in Hilton Head, Defusky, as well as um, Bluffton. So the original Gullah Festival has been around for 37 years. And it, if you look around, it's a great crowd and a lot of people have been coming out. I've seen busloads of people who've come from out of town just to experience the festival. And the Gullah culture is such a significant part of American culture and society. And there are a lot of different elements of the Gullah culture that are woven into society. Different words, songs, um, the food, Gullah food, gumbo, things like that are all part of the culture. And so we're out here today celebrating and enjoying the culture and, and learning about all of the Gullah Geechee history and traditions that are exist. So I'm a writer and I have been writing about Low Country Gullah and the Gullah culture for about six or seven years. And it's important to document and preserve the culture for future generations. There's a lot of different elements of the culture that um, are important that a lot of people don't even know. Matter of fact, a lot of people don't even know that they are either a Gullah or a Geechee. And recently, statistics found that 89% of descendants of enslaved people 
are Gullah Geechee. If you um, are from the, the Gullah Geechee Corridor, which is from North Carolina to Florida. It's a really rich and significant culture, and there are so many elements of the culture that need to be not only celebrated, but highlighted and preserved. Today has been a really fabulous day. This is day two of the Gullah celebration in Beaufort. We have one more day and it's been a fabulous weather and crowd that we've had out here and uh, going back to the desk. And that's a wrap for this edition of the Daily News. We want to thank the, the crew behind the scenes, all of our guests and all of you for watching. I'm Robin Zimmerman. If you missed part of this newscast, we'll be back in 90 minutes.